always did a lot of work with children in schools and you know they used to they used to love it it was something so different and unique especially for a bunch of young youth to be going and working with them you know it kind of it showed them hope in some ways so what other themes did artworks cover we did shows working together you know sharing a different skills because you know the Baha'i faith has so many ideas of you know, everyone has their own skills and not until you bring them together, you know, will the world progress and stuff. And so we use that idea a lot. And how long were you part of Artworks? I was with Artworks for 11 months. First two months, I was training. We did training nine to five every day. And the rest of the, about five months, we were performing in and around Perth and would travel, you know, to close communities, close by. Close meaning it could be five hours away. <laughs> um, so where did you travel to with Artworks? We did a lot of touring around South Australia, um, down to Albany and places like that. We also, the last couple of months of my service, we did a lot of touring. We did a huge big tour of the Western Australia, then we went all the way up um, to Northern Territory and then we came back down to South Australia and came across to Perth. So we did a lot of travelling and this was all by bus. So what sort of audiences were there? We did a lot of work with the native people, with the Aboriginal people. We used to tour to um, their little communities, you know, because Aboriginal people, they usually live on the outskirts of like the main kind of urban places and they live, you know, travel on these dirt roads, you know, for like an hour or two and arrive at these little communities where there might be a community of like say 200 um, people. And I, I used to love going into these communities. The, pe the Aboriginal people, they're just the most beautiful people you'll find. They're just so humble and so warm-hearted. You know, during the, that time, you know, working with the kids, they, they just were so fond of you, you know. They looked up to you because they never see a performing arts group of such or people of a different colour, you know, coming to work with them. It was something really amazing for them to see that. So during that time, did you get any, any media coverage? We did, we got, especially when we were touring in these rural areas, you know, um, there was a lot of media, you know, coverage would usually most likely end up in some sort of paper, you know, because it's just, performing arts groups don't go to little communities, you know, so we did, we got a lot of paper coverage. So you were talking about doing two months of training before you went out and did your performances. In that time, what did you do? We did a lot of dance training, a lot of the training time was taken up with dance. Um, we learnt scripts, so we would spend many hours learning our scripts. <laughs> um, we also had paint training, you'd be thrown at the board and told, can you paint this image in a minute, you know. <laughs> so you'd go through a lot of training like that. Um, we also had a lot of flipping and acrobatic training, sort of. We taught how to do flips and th little things that would try and just impress the crowds, nothing too much. Um, yeah, and then we were also, with, we did workshop and school performances and we were taught kind of that was on the spot sort of training. You'd go into the school and someone would be doing it and you'd kind of learn like that. How did Artworks start? Artworks was founded by a couple of Baha'i youth back in, I think it was 1996. And it start, basically started with uh, the guy, Phil, who came up with this idea that you know, wouldn't it be amazing to have um, just someone splashing paint around, you know, sort of like Rolf Harris type thing, and being able to use a kind of story throughout the painting, you know, so it would kind of emerge into a, um, into a piece. And him and a couple of others, they got together and they were doing workshops in schools, you know, just with kids and painting. And then one school booked them and said, um, so, you know, can you guys dance and do a big show for us and I think all of a sudden they were like sure we can do that and <laughs> put on the spot and they had to come up with this um, dance drama thing apparently it just didn't wasn't happening too well and it wasn't, didn't go down that great but from that there was a vision that they could do better and they built it up and now it's just really grown into something quite amazing <laughs>